which are the best supplements that can quickly boost your immune system and how should you take them if you get sick? Well, let's find out. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. If this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we're gonna be talking about the best supplements for boosting your immune system. I'll tell you how to take them on a daily basis to reduce the risks of getting sick, but I'll also tell you how you should take them if you get sick. So if you're ready, let's just begin. The first supplement I wanna talk about is vitamin C. Now, vitamin C, it's known for its very potent and strong antioxidant properties, but also antiviral properties. Now, we know that studies show that supplementing vitamin C can definitely boost your immune system, but it can also work as an antioxidant, so it can fight free radicals, which is very important for general health um, and, of course, for longevity. And, of course, supplementing vitamin C can also decrease oxidative damage. Now, you can get plenty of vitamin C from eating vegetables, all kinds of vegetables, especially kale, uh, peppers, also, sweet potatoes have a high level of vitamin C. So if you eat a predominantly plant-based diet, which I recommend for optimal brain performance, then you're on the safe side. However, what I recently noticed is that there are days that even though I eat extremely healthy, that my vitamin C levels are kind of a low or on the low end. And to boost my immune system, especially in the autumn and winter, when there's a flu season, well, maybe that's not true for the last years, but in general, that's when the flu comes out. I decided to supplement vitamin C in the autumn and then in the winter as well. Now, the recommended daily intake of vitamin C is 100 to 200 milligrams per day, and that's what most supplements contain. Of course, you can find supplements with a much higher level of vitamin C, like this one contains about 1,000 milligrams, and that's the levels I take in case I get sick. So if I get a flu, or if I get sick, if I have fever and so on, then I take up to 2,000 milligrams per day for a very short period to fight those symptoms and the severity of it. Now, before you supplement very high levels of vitamin C, do consult your doctor just to be on the safe side. The next important supplement that I recommend taking for boosting your immune system is zinc. Now, the cool thing about zinc is that it plays many important roles in our body. Especially, it is important for boosting the immune system, but uh, it's also important for bone growth, uh, it's also important for brain development, for eyesight, etc., etc. Now, many studies show that supplementing zinc can reduce the severity of symptoms associated with a uh, common cold or flu and can decrease the duration of those symptoms. But it is very important to supplement zinc in the 24-hour period after you get the symptoms. That's how you can have the biggest impact on those symptoms. Now, the recommended daily intake is about 5 milligrams to 10 milligrams. And the supplement I'm currently using, for example, contains 15 milligrams. So I generally take it every two days. However, if you get sick, um, then I recommend taking a higher dosage. I personally take about 75 to about 100 milligrams of zinc um, for a short period when I get sick. Studies show that that's the optimal dosage if you get sick to reduce the symptoms or the severity of the symptoms. Um, but of course, before you supplement such a high dose, you do consult your doctor. By the way, do I know how well does your brain work? Well, go through our free brain assessment link in the description below and get your brain performance score. Just before we talk about the next supplement, there's an important note for you guys. If you supplement zinc, iron, magnesium, and calcium, make sure that the total amount of all those minerals is below 800 milligrams because they use the same transporter, which means that if the total amount of those minerals is above 800 milligrams, then the absorption rates will decrease. So you need to be careful about that. The next supplement I want to talk about is vitamin D, or in this case, vitamin D3. Now, vitamin D3 is crucial for general health and also for immune system. Now, research shows that people who have adequate levels of vitamin D3 have enhanced immune response, decreased inflammation, and are less prone to infections. Now, you can get plenty of vitamin D3 through sun exposure, but you need to get the sun exposure between about 10 in the morning and about two or three in the afternoon, which sometimes it's really hard to do, especially if you are an active professional or a student, whatever, and you work uh, during those uh, hours. Or during the winter, that's also kind of hard to get. So personally, I do take an amount of 
1,000 international units to 2,000 international units of vitamin D3 per day every single day. If I get sick, for example, then I increase this dosage to about 10,000 international units for a short period. And during winter and autumn, I generally take a bit higher dosage. So this is about two to 3,000 international units per day just to be on the safe side. And then we have one of my favorite supplements for boosting immune system, and this is quercetin. Now, quercetin is a polyphenol, a naturally occurring one, that you can find in many foods, such as red onions, different berries, and even green tea. Now, we know that quercetin has very strong antioxidant properties, so it can reduce oxidative damage and fight the free radicals. But recent studies show that it's a very crucial supplement to take uh, to boost your immune system. Based on the available research, supplementing quercetin can actually prevent certain infections, which is very important to know. Now, the recommended daily dosage is about 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams, and that's what I supplement as well. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. And then we have N-acetylcysteine. Now, N-acetylcysteine is a semi-essential amino acid that is sold as a supplement in certain countries, but as a drug in other countries. So before you consider supplementing, do check the legal status where you live. N-acetylcysteine is a very potent antioxidant, and the recommended daily dosage is about 600 milligrams to 1,200 milligrams per day. I don't take it that often, but if I get sick, or if I know that many people around me are getting flu, then I do supplement in the range that I just mentioned. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow your inception on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and so on. And guys, I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.